all right guys you are welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time of coming across my youtube channel my name is samuel joshua and this is iron of logistics where we discuss about e-commerce mini importation arbitrage business and how you can make money online at large so in today's tutorial i'll be coming up with something very very unique in my previous video i talked about the bank cards that we can use when it comes to um our arbitrage business and our online payments before now we know that um our cbn governor here in nigeria godwin sorry sorry um the cbn governor godwin emefiele right so um he has cut off the limits on these cards and this has been causing a whole lot of issues so i discussed about the bank cards and the domiciliary cards and how you can fund them right i discussed it in a very detailed video so i'll link that in the description button of this video so in today's tutorial i choose to come up with a virtual card that we can use as well for our both local transactions and foreign transactions and what do i mean by that this app that i'm going to be talking about is called clasher app so in today's tutorial i'm going to be talking about how you can create this clasher app all right and in my next video i'm going to be talking about how you can fund it and how you can get your virtual cards right so this is a global payment method so what is clasher app clasher app is an online um, borderless payments that gives you access to make a payment across the globe and clasher app has done it so very well this time around by giving us a virtual card which is a dollar virtual card right and this is having a lot of benefits right so about these cards they are very very well okay so in um, what's the benefit of getting this clutcher app right so the first one is the first one is they provide you a virtual dollar card that you can use for your international payments right and another benefit of this app this virtual card is having over ten thousand us dollar monthly limit isn't that cool and another benefit of this is it enables you to make a local payment and international payment so we have a whole lot of benefit when it comes to clasher app and i think another benefit of these cards and send and receive money without any hidden charges whatever you send is what you are going to be receiving you can use this app to send money across the globe you can use it to send money to your parents to your siblings to your brothers right so this app this clutcher app is a very very unique one and which is well recognized they have over two i think 250 million users is it million or billions users across the globe and this app has come to stay also use these cards to pay on your alibaba their virtual card you can also use it to pay on aliexpress alibaba taobao 1688 netflix shoplix and amazon so you can even add these virtual cards to your um what's it called your alipay so this um is having a whole lot of benefits there are more benefits to this clutcher app so in today's tutorial i'm going to be taking you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get these things done we are going to be creating a verified and a complete tutorial on how you can get your account created because we are still going to be needing what you are going to be needing is you are going to be needing your email you are going to be needing your uh, um your active phone number utility bills then um i think your id identity card is either your voters card um nin slip or you have your international passports or you have your driver's license whichever one you are having we can make use of this so stay tuned guys don't go anywhere i want you to subscribe so you can i'm coming with a whole lot of things trust me when i say i'm coming with a whole lot of things this time around right so what you want to help me with is to subscribe so as you are watching that video you are going to be seeing something like subscribe red button it is free they are not charging you to subscribe guys so just click on that so let's dive into today's tutorial guys so the first thing you want to do if you are using um an android phone or an iphone is to come to your play store or app store then you search um clutcher app 
so i think it's both available on ios 10 android you can see by default i have my clasher app downloaded already right so once you are done downloading or installing this app what you want to do is to click on open okay so clicking on open we open this page this is where um their welcome notes really looks like this is what it looks like you can see that we have shop directly from global brands like amazon and pay in naira so you right? must have known that um by using this that the card and the virtual card is supporting amazon right so you can see that we have they said they have over 10k dollars what of virtual cards they mean their limit right so i've said that before now so what you want to do is to click on get started because we are going to be creating a new account from scratch so this is the two um options that you are going to be getting so the first one with um this shop internet um shop internationally with clasher this simply means you are going to be using this card as one-time use right so they can help you deliver it to your doorstep in nigeria within um 7 to 14 working days but these cards will not be available on the app for a long time use right so what you want to do is to scroll down and go to this second option where you see spend internationally with, internationally with clasher right so you are going to see um create a clasher visa dollar card for free pay for services like shopify facebook ads then spend dollar on this website all right so now you want to click on sign up this second option is what we are going to be making use of so you click on sign up clicking on sign ups will automatically bounce you to this page and what you want to do is to make sure you are having your number available because they are going to be sending an otp to this number right so now i input my number here then i click on next so a code has been forwarded to this number so i got this code after waiting for some few moments and um here comes the code i think i have this um all right so you can see that the mobile number has been verified successfully the next step you want to do is to verify your home address make sure this address is the address that you are presently living in so once you are done filling the address the state the city and the country all right what you want to do is to click on continue so clicking on this will take you to the next page where we have um where you get to tell clutcher a bit about yourself which includes your name the official documents you have and your miss of identity right so here is the first thing i'm going to be using here as um this so once you are done filling this name make sure please don't make a mistake make sure that this name as it is written on your legal document the the document you want to use the means of identification you want to use the way it's been arranged make sure is the same way you input it here so there won't be any mistake when you want to um upload your means of identity right so you can choose the handle you want to use it might be name it might be username so once you are done with this page what you want to do again is to click on this guy here continue so clicking on continue will take you to where you get to input your email address right so you are going to be inputting this email address again and make sure that you have it available with you because they are going to be sending a mail to you for you to confirm this email address. once you are done inputting this email address what you want to do is to click on continue okay so we are going to be continue and you can see that they've sent a mail to this um email address so you can see that i have it up here this is where you get to set your um after you verified your email is going to bring a option for you to set up your pin so i'll be inputting something random here um something you can't forget you can just make use of your date of birth or whichever one you want to use then you click on continue all right you can see that i've already set my pin now so whenever you want to log in to your clutter app is likely for you to input this pin so make sure the one you are inputting is a very um recognized one so let me input this pin now 
and logged into this app to continue my verification all right so you can see that we have this um verification aspect here so we start from the first one which is the bvn verification this is where you get to input your bvn verification and what you want to do is to click on this guy here you click on the first one and click on start verification start verification so you input your bvn here then after inputting your bvn you input your date of birth so let me just input this so once you are done inputting your bvn and your date of birth you click on continue okay so you can see that it has already verified this bvn so let's go back to the home page to continue our verification so first step has been verified the next one we want to verify now is the id verification so we click on continue again as usual then you select the type of identification you want to use you click on this drop down then we have the three one three options here we have the first one as national id card driver's license then international passports guys what i get to discover at this step is when you use your um national id card right there is this slow process once you upload it is going to be slow sometimes it's not even going to work you will have to shut their customer care to help them verify it for you manually by you uploading the necessary documents for them so you are going to you can either shut them through this um chat support button or you go to their instagram handle to shut them so they are going to ask you some some questions regarding your account and once they ask you this question they will tell you to upload the document the picture of you holding the document and stuff like that so they are going to give you the days interval for this account to be verified right so let's practice this if we are going to be luckily for this to just go directly because i'm going to be making use of the first option which is the national id card so i click on this first option then i click on continue so you can see let's read this this instruction so we have v n i n s are replaced are replacing n i n s now and what do they mean this v i n n is just um the nigerian government is mandating that companies using 16 digit virtual national id card number which is v n i n to verify their national identity identification number which is the n i n to successfully verify your NIN on this Glacier app, please carefully follow the step on the screen. Okay? So now what they are trying to say here is instead of you using your NIN, you will have to make use of your VNINS. And how do you go with this method? You are going to download the NIN app. So once you download the app, there is inside of it where you are going to be generating your VNIN stuff. But guys, don't panic. Don't panic. If you can't do this, i've said it before now you can shut them up directly okay so let's just cancel this then continue so you can see the options the instruction here steps to generate your 16 virtual national identification card which is vnin using the nimc app download the nimc app here so once you click on that here it's going to take you to your play store or app store to download it then you input your number your nin then once you download it the step two is to follow the generating v nin on the nic app so you are going to select the option three says you are going to select input enterprise short code you are going to be seeing it in that option inside that app so you click on this code you are going to paste it inside that app and automatically is going to generate the vnin for you this is when you are going to copy it okay so once you download it you are going to copy you are going to select this guy here you copy this number out once you copy it you are going to paste it in there and generate it okay so now this is what i'm going to be doing shortly because um the app i've tried to download the app and do a screen record but the app is not working with screen record is not going to be showing so i'm going to do this and come back to you guys so guys this is me um inside the clasher app on um, instagram they have their handles on instagram twitter and facebook so you can reach them out in any of these um 
platform for you to log to your complaint and one thing i love about their customer key is they are 24 7 online and they are very very fast so now let's just pick it up from here i said please i tried to verify my id card with my nin and i did and i did was uh, i did as instructed the app is telling me after i generated the code the vnin code saying code not match what can i do now this is what i try to do with these guys after i went through the whole lot of process which is the nin stuff blah 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 it does not work even the code they told me to generate i input it in there and it does not work so this brought me to their customer care and this was their response so let's quickly read out their response hello thank you for reaching out back Please accept my sincere apologies for the delay response and all the inconveniences caused to you. Right? So the following paragraph says, at the moment, you will be able to complete the automatic ID verification as we are experiencing some issues with that feature. However, you can use the same card to complete your verification manually now you can see what i'm trying to say they said they are having issues in that aspect like that um vnin and nin they said they're having issues in it in you uploading it and stuff like that so that's why i said you have to upload it manually here for them to help you so now the following paragraph says please now they are telling you to upload it to them directly so they can help you link it with their accounts they said please take a picture of yourself holding any preferred id card you want to verify with is either voters card driver's license nin slip okay so all your international passport so these are the recognized means of identification here in nigeria i don't know for other countries so you can either hold this for uh, one of these four id cards then provide a separate picture of your id card okay you want to verify a loan i hope you understand what i'm trying to say now you are going to send your picture holding that card you are going to snap it then your picture is going to show clearly you are going to send it to them and you are still going to send the separate picture of that id card alone you are going to snap that id card then send to them so in continuation okay please also please provide your name arrangement and the date of birth as registered on your bvn your clash email the email address you use the bvn so they can assist you further okay so once you have been able to do that guys this is a very simple instruction so once you have been able to do this follow um instructions they are going to process it they are going to give you i think one to two days and they are going to get back to you just logged in the app and you are going to see that you have bypassed that level now let me show you the proof that i have already verified mine let me scroll down you can see i have my picture here holding my n9n all right so the next one um is my name date of birth bvn and email and i also snap it again to them right so now let me hear what they have to say after i've already sent these documents guys at this point don't be scared your information is 100 percent safe with these guys okay so let's hear what they have to say so now you can see that they said hello thank for the clarification please take a picture of yourself holding any preferred id card you want to verify with okay is either voters card driver's license nin or international price uh, international passport then provide a separate id card so i still have to upload to this guy again i send the um what's it called the nin slip to them separately and my picture holding it a very cleared one to be precise so after i have sent it i receive a mail from this guy saying hello thanks for your patience thank you for providing clarification i have forwarded i have forwarded your information to the team in charge and i will provide feedback as soon as possible my apologies for any inconvenience uh, inconveniences this might cause you the estimated time frame is 24 
hours 24 working hours that's just a day however we will do everything within our power to ensure process is completed as soon as possible so they are giving you an interval of 24 hours for this issue to be resolved so i said okay so they now message me that um this is the feedback they said hello samuel thank you for your patient feedback from our team indicates the issue provided is completed so the identification i the 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 documents i uploaded has already been resolved and they have already verified this thing for me so they are telling me please relaunch the app and confirm so you can see that um this is what you you really need it so let me go back to my app now and check if this is working perfectly guys so guys um i've already opened my app now so what i want to do is to input my pin to log in to check if these guys have already helped me verify it after they've promised to do that right so let me check um i think the app is still loading right here um let's wait all right so i think we have this let me just click on complete now wow this is really amazing guys this id verification has already be verified so what i want to do now is to complete the verification although you might be using this account with these two verification but i think there will be a limit to it so i would rather advise you to just upload the uh to complete the verification so you click on complete verification to upload the address so what you want to do is to tap continue here so this is where you get to upload the so address. once you are done you input the necessary address state city and um, country so you click on continue call to to update this information right so what you want to do here is to click on the type of document so you can either is either you upload your bank statement utility bills and um, the cable bills so make sure that whichever one you want to upload is tallied and match with the one on your bank statement i will always advise to use bank statement as it was arranged on your bank statement that is the method you should use to verify it so you click on bank statement then you open your camera so you click on allow right so instead of you using open camera you can see choose from you can see options that says choose from file so this is where you get to upload it you upload this item you click on choose or choose file so this is my bank statement right now i'm going to upload it and i click on upload so the the, the bank card is uploading and you can see that it has successfully uploaded so i'll wait for this guy to just give it a time for me to review it so i'll just um once they review it and they see that it is real so they are just going to verify it so now you can see that um i'm back you see that the document is under review and they said it takes 24 hours before it reviews so you can see that it's under pending now so let's just wait so guys after i've waited for a short period of time i receive a mail that this account has been verified the address we tried to um to upload has already uploaded and they verify it so let me just click on my profile here to see you can see that we have verification complete let me click on it you can see that the third the three options are completed this is the complete guide on how you can create a verified account so with this method now we already have a complete account so in my next tutorial now we are going to be talking about how we can fund this clasher app the different method we can use to fund it and how we can get our virtual card for online payments i will see you guys in my next video thank you